Welcome to your mat. My name is Alicia. This practice today will be a deep stretching class. We'll take time to really open our bodies, get nice and comfortable in longer holds. So this practice will be very gentle. We will probably not leave the ground at all. So when you're ready, come to your mat. I like to set my mat up with a blanket on top just to add a little bit of extra cushion to help ease my body into some longer holds. Then if you have a bolster, grab your bolster. If not, just a house pillow. Anything that has a little um, density to it will be just fine. And then you might like two blocks. I also like to add an essential oil to the room. This is just a glass bottle I have that I mixed water and this happens to be lemongrass so you can set the tone of your room with a little spritz and if you find throughout your practice you need a little bit of refreshment in the air you can always grab for your essential oil. So if you did that, spray your room, then bring your hands to your thighs, close your eyes. Just take a moment to smell the space around you. Whether you use an enhancement in the air or not, just notice what you smell. Notice how your nostrils inflate. Notice where your breath goes. Notice where your mind goes if it's a familiar scent. Notice your body. Notice how your shoulders are. Let your hands be heavy, palms face down towards the earth as a gesture of grounding. Let everything about this practice today be about energetically pulling you closer to the mat, pulling you closer to the space of ground, pulling you closer to the space of comfort. Let this gentle practice bring you deeper into yourself. Let your breath be organic. Match the inhales to the length of the exhales. Let each breath bring in more oxygen. Let each exhalation release tension. If the idea is you flow through your breath, let there be fluidity. One more moment in stillness. Take a deep breath in, inflate your lungs. Audible exhale, let the air go. Keep your eyes closed or gently flutter them open. Grab your pillow or your bolster. Face forward on your mat. Come to a butterfly position. Bring the soles of your feet to touch. Draw your knees out wide. Bring the pillow on top of your feet. Then rock your hips back. Bring your forearms to your pillow. Gently fold forward. Bring your chest, bring your nose. Maybe arms rest down beside you. We'll hold these shapes for a little bit of an extended time. I'll set you up, give you a couple cues. Then let yourself be okay with sitting in silence. Feel the soles of your feet gently pressed together. Find heaviness along outside of your thighs. Move your hips back, reach your chest forward. If your head can reach your pillow, rest one cheek. I'll call out when it's time to switch your cheeks. Notice how your body feels as you let go. Notice what you feel in your back. With this more gentle, more restorative practice, really tune you into everything you feel, whether it's in your physical body, the stresses, the openness, sensitivities in your body, or maybe it's all about reflection and what you feel in your mind. Where does your mind go? Where do the thoughts go? How can you create balance as you focus the energy internally?
switch out the gaze of your cheek, rest your opposite cheek on the mat. Feel the inflation of the breath through your shoulder blades. Feel the exhalation as you melt deeper into your pillow. Take five more breaths here, count yourself down. This is my last breath, take a deep breath in. Exhale through the mouth, let the breath go. Lightly press into your hands, lift yourself up. Straighten out your left leg. Bring your right foot into your inner thigh, then place your pillow inside of your left shin. Roll out your left ankle a few times, point and flex. Scoot your hips back, take a breath in, elongate your spine up. Exhale, fold forward. Rest your belly, your chest, your arms. Encourage the length of your hips back behind you. your upper arms to soften. Allow your upper back to soften. Allow space to be created with each inhalation. Take five more breaths. Really press into your hands, lift yourself up. Bring your hands back behind your hips. Begin to rotate your chest right and left. Switch out your legs, straighten out your right leg. Bend your left leg, bring the sole of your foot into your inner right thigh. Adjust your pillow, scoot your hips back, point and flex your right leg a few times, right toes. Then as you're ready, surrender and fold forward. Stretch your arms out, move your hips back, lengthen your chest forward. Relax your body weight into your prop. Know that the support is there. Surrender any activation in your body. Your body completely relax into the shape. This shape take you deeper into your right hamstring, deeper into your backside. Can you invite your breath to be a little bit more heavy? Five 
five more full breath cycles. Press into your hands, lift yourself up. Place your hands behind you, rotate left, rotate right. Place your pillow off to the side for a moment. Bring your hands behind you, plant your feet, mat with distance. Point your knees straight to the sky, take a breath in, lift your chest. Exhale, drop your knees left. Inhale, lift your knees to the sky. Exhale, drop your knees to the right. Inhale, come through center. Exhale to the left. Windshield wiper from right to left a few times. Rock from inner side of your foot to outer arch. Then cross your ankles. Gently rock forward. Come to a tabletop position or hammock. Stack your shoulders on top of your wrists. Spread your fingers wide. Stack your hips on top of your knees. Take a deep belly breath in. Gaze up, cow pose. Exhale, curl cat round your spine. Inhale, cow. Exhale, curl cat. Inhale, cow. Exhale, curl cat. Inhale, come to a neutral spine. Exhale, let's start to make circles. Bring, bring your hips back to the right side of your mat. Scoop to your heels and up the left side of your mat. Down to the right, up the left. Down the right side, up the left side. A couple times, imagine you're stirring the pot with your hips. Create this energizing mobility through your hips and wrists, shoulders. One more time to the right. Then pause back in your neutral spine. Begin to stir the pot left. Bring your hips back to the left side of your mat. Scoop to your heels, then up the right side of your body. Down the left. Up the right. Down the left. Up the right. Match your own rhythm of breath through these circles. Allow your arms to be straight. One more big circle. And pause in a neutral tabletop position. Step your right foot outside of your right wrist. Grab your blocks or your pillow. Play with your height setting here, either the lowest middle or highest then drop down to your forearms rock to the outer nice edge of your right foot take this low lunge as an opening to your left hip flexor open to your right hip socket Add a little rocking motion or pause in stillness as you melt. Surrender your head down, maybe even close your eyes. Allow your breath to become even heavier. Allow the sensation you feel to take over your body. Whether you're feeling a little bit of discomfort or you're completely at ease, Validate what you feel and honor that this practice will feel different every day. Different stresses show up in our lives, they show up in our bodies. Different excitements, different happinesses. A lot of things can hide deep within our body. If you'd like to take this a little bit deeper, move your blocks if you're on them, grab your pillow. Bring your pillow where your forearms were, then gently fold deeper in. Mm -hmm. 
maybe use the block to rest your forehead. Five breaths in this deeper expression. Press yourself up, slide your right leg back, move your pillow off to the side, and then bring your left foot forward, low lunge or dragon. Bring your blocks back beneath your hands, play with a similar height on this side as you did the other, even if the side might feel slightly different. Lengthen your right leg back, surrender down to your blocks or your forearms. Press your left foot deeply into the ground. Then let heaviness take over your body as you relax. <sighs> let out sighs if it feels good, if you're holding on to your breath. With this gentle grounding shape where our heart is pointed towards the floor. Let it open and release whatever emotions you feel. Let whatever vulnerabilities you have on your skin, let them begin to lift. As you're ready, move your blocks forward, grab your pillow. Take this into a little deeper expression, drop down to your forearms. Count yourself down five breaths. Softly press yourself back up, slide your left leg back beneath your hip. Take a moment in a tabletop position, wag your tail, sway from side to side. And cross your ankles, rock your weight to your bottom, come to sitting on your sits bones. Grab your pillow, place it to your left. Then come down to your back. Bring your knees into your chest. Give yourself a little compression squeeze. Press your thighs into your ribs. Rock on your spine right to left. Release your left leg long. Grab your right shin, pull your right knee up into your ribs. Take a full inhalation, reach in up, up through your chest. Exhale, supine twist, drop your right knee over to the left side of your body, right onto your pillow. Stretch your arms out to the side. Maybe your left hand captures your right knee. Slightly side your left shoulder towards the left side of your mat. Find heaviness in your right shoulder. Use gravity to pull you closer to the mat. Energize your right hip towards the top of your mat. Imagine your right rib cage as a basket. Let the breath intertwine 
and weave through your rib cage. Notice how it goes up and over each rib. Feel the constriction as you twist. Allow your digestive system to purge what no longer serves you. Let it purge the nutrients you've been putting in. Let it purge any sweets that maybe you've indulged in. Gently come back to your back. Bring both knees in. Give yourself a hug. Grab your pillow, place it to the right side of your body. Reach your right leg long, capture your left shin. Pull your left knee up toward your rib, ribs along your torso. Take a deep inhalation, lift up. Exhale, supine twist, cross your left knee over to the right side of your body. Let your leg gently fall to your pillow. Stretch your arms out. Press the back of your head on the mat. Take your gaze up or maybe your eyes are closed. Perhaps your right hand rests to your left knee. Breathe deeply into your left side body all the way from your left armpit down through your rib cage to your hip point. Notice the breath as it moves up and down your side body. Draw your left hip towards the top of your mat. Notice if you're holding on to anything in your body. Can you actively release? Can you tell yourself it's okay to relax? It's okay to be free and let go? Turn to your back, hug both knees into your chest, give yourself a little squeeze and hug. Relax your feet to the floor. And then bring the soles of your feet to touch, press into your elbows, rise to your forearms, then press your hands down, slide your pillow beneath your back, Bring it closer to your hips so you can go up and over. Then press the soles of your feet to touch. Use your hands, support yourself, recline up and over your pillow. Depending on the density of your pillow, this might create a large arch in your spine or it might be very subtle. And then cactus out your arms. Reclined, Supta Baddha Konasana. Begin to notice your body. Notice how the back of your head feels. Notice how your shoulder blades feel. Notice the back side of your rib cage. Notice your hips. Elongate the side of your thighs toward your knees. Feel heaviness melt your outer shins towards the mat.
Bring your hands to your rib cage, left hand to your heart, right hand to your belly. And take five more breaths. Notice the breath beneath your palm. Bring your left knee to your right, roll to your right side. Press your left hand down, gently rise up to your seat. Setting up one last final pose or a legs up the wall. Two options here, you can take it at the wall. So you would come right up to a wall, or in this case, this is a closet, but move one hip up to the wall, then support yourself with your outer hand, slide one leg up, slide another leg up, then surrender yourself down. You can then scoot your hips all the way to the wall. Rest here with your legs up the wall, one hand to your heart and belly. If you don't have a wall or closet door or anything that you could rest on, you can take this shape freely on your mat. So have two blocks. We'll create a little stone hedge. So take your blocks on the highest setting, relatively close together, about um, two feet width. Then grab your pillow, place it on top. Same thing, bring one hip right up to your prop setup. Swing one leg up, swing the other leg up. Support yourself with your elbows and your hands. Come down to your back. Rest your legs to your prop, hands to your chest and your belly, or hands out to the side. Legs up the wall for your final resting Shavasana. Find heaviness along the entire backside of your body. Find lightness along the front side of your body as you expose your heart straight to the energy above. Expose to the light. Expose to the breath you breathe. Completely put yourself to ease and rest. Pause the video here and stay here for as long as you'd like. Or gently begin to wake your body up, wiggle your fingers, run your thumb across each finger pad, wiggle your toes, roll out your ankles. Inhale, reach your arms up overhead, long body stretch. Exhale, gently roll to your side. Be mindful of your props. Gently roll off to one side or the other. Pull your knees into your chest into a supported fetal pose. Rest on your side. Right side pulls energy from the sun. Left side is more grounding and pulls energy from the moon. Press your outside hand in front of your heart. Press yourself up. Make your way back to a comfortable seat on your mat. Easy cross-legged position. Bring your hands to your thighs. Take a deep, full breath in. Lengthen and lift your chest up. Exhale through the mouth. Let your breath go. Inhale through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. One more time, deep, full belly breath in, inflate. Exhale, let the breath go. Bring your hands to your heart center. Thank you so much for making time for yourself today and taking this deep stretch class with me.
If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comments below. Let me know what you'd like to see for your next class. And again, thank you so much for being here. Namaste.